Copper Dog's weekend of fun will start tonight. Even though the snow has not stuck around long enough to build the sled trail's base, organizers have plenty of fun planned. This year, the Copper Dog will host the Upper Peninsula's first known official weight pulling competition with the introduction of the Copper Pole. In this event, some of the strongest dogs will pull increasing weight over 16 feet. For this, I believe we'll be starting at about 27 and a half pounds and going up in 27 and a half pound increments. And so each time, the, each time we go through the round, the sled gets heavier and we keep going until dogs, until we have one dog left and we see how much it pulls. Popular question is how much do they pull? We don't answer that question because it varies so much on what dogs show up, uh, what the conditions are at the time, and dogs are a lot like people. Some days they don't feel like working, as demonstrated by this bunch. CD Kennels co-owner Chris Kivy says that training his dogs for weight pulling competitions is much different than for team races. Likening the weight pull event to single athlete sports with an emphasis on strength during conditioning. Whereas mushers will run for miles and miles and miles with their teams before an event, a weight pull dog spends just time walking around the yard just dragging dead weight behind it, an old tire or that. But uh, you'll just go for, go for a few hundred feet, let them drag the tire around, and then they're done. And you just keep repeating that to build up muscle on them because you don't want them to go far with the sled but they only have to go 16 feet. So it's, uh, the training is actually quite different. Uh, we do have mushers that bring their race dogs and do weight pull, and they do quite well once the dog figures out that it's not getting any help from the rest of the team. Another event that will act as a main event in 2024 is the Copper Dash. In that event, kids and their furry friends can find out which pair is the fastest in the copper country. We have 75 foot run. We box, box it in, and this is for the kids to bring their own pet. If, as long as it's healthy and can pull, bring it out. We will have harnesses and sleds available. Uh, for those that don't have a dog, we've got dogs that uh, will be available to borrow. The, uh, we do prefer you bring your own, uh, as the pool of dogs available to borrow can vary greatly. Uh, as we've learned in the past. But uh, it's a great, fun event, a great way to get the kids started in mushing. Um, it's always a blast. Copper Dog will kick off tonight with Hug a Husky and the street party starting at 5 p.m. The Copper Drag Race starts at 6 p.m., kids ride the bus at 7 p.m., and fireworks at 9 p.m. Saturday's weight pull will start at 9 a.m., then the kids' Copper Dash at 2 p.m. There are also film screenings for Iron Will and Musher during the weekend. Those interested in checking out the alternative fun Copper Dog has planned for Calumet can find more details at abc10up.com. With ABC10 and CW5, this is Thomas Fournier.